Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I give you weekly tips and tools for organizing, prepping, and travel. Today is another prepping video where I'm gonna show you a Walmart stock up haul, beans, pasta, rice, and dairy. I'll show you expiration dates and prices for each of these cans and boxes. Here is my price list, and we will start over here with the dark red kidney beans and black beans. I got five each because I have three pantries, my pantry, my extended pantry, and my long-term pantry or my prepper pantry. These are all going to my long-term pantry except for the oat milk and a few other things. So I'll let you know which ones. And so for the dark red kidney beans and black beans, they are 78 cents each and they are the great value brand. The expiration date is June of 24, so two years, and the same thing, June of 24. And so I'm gonna put four into my long-term and one of each into my pantry, which is the regular pantry. And so um, I always buy in sets of two, because two is one, one is none and I definitely like the even number. I order from walmart.com and that's because I am in Phoenix and it is so hot and I'm just, I work online and I or work from home and so I try to limit when it's like 110 degrees outside as much as possible going outside. Um, and so it's that convenience where I can just drive up, they put it into my trunk, I sit in my air conditioned car and the other thing is that when you order on walmart.com, um, you have a running tally of what everything will cost you. And then you could go to checkout, you can see what it is with tax. And so I've been trying to keep things within a certain budget. The total for these items, there are 57 items, it's $94.65. So they, they come out to about $1.66 each. And so I got four of the chickpeas and four of the garbanzo beans, which they're the same things. Look at this, the great value says chickpeas garbanzos and this organic um, great value is garbanzo chickpeas. So maybe they think the word garbanzo is more fufu to go with the organic, I don't know. Now I'm not sure that I particularly chose the organic, sometimes they do substitute. So I think they did a substitute for this one. And the regular chickpeas, 78 cents each. Garbanzo beans are $1.16. And so let's just pick a random um, can here and see the expiration date. April of 24, almost two years, probably about 22 months, right? Oh, and May of 25, oh, that's a nice one. Okay, so that's three years, yeah, that's good. So what I found is they usually kind of have the same expiration expiration dates. Um, or you might have one or two that's a different one because they grab them from the same uh, box or shelf and so they're kind of similar expiration dates. And then here we've got uh, pork and beans, the great value brand in tomato sauce. And this is 72 cents each. So March of 24, let's see. March of 24, okay. So these will go to my long-term pantry. So what I did is uh, I looked at my long-term, my extended pantry, and I found that very few times we ate the Chef Boyardee. Um, and, you know, so we slowly worked them into our regular meals. So bottom line, this is really for, um, if things go wrong, right? But, so I didn't wanna get too many, but I am conscious of rotating that in. And so these are the overstuffed beef lasagna, uh, uh, I'm sorry, overstuffed beef ravioli in pasta sauce, spaghetti and meatballs, and then lasagna. So I haven't tried any of these three. So what I did was I got three each. So I'm two, two, two are going into the long term. And these I'm actually gonna try because I will be doing a taste testing video sometime. Each of them are $1.24. And so that's good because as far as price, you just decide which one do you really want to put in your pantry. May of 24, let's see this one, June of 24. 
So two years and April of 24. So that's the best buy. Of course, you can go past that. So two years, that's a good uh, expiration. All right, here I got some gluten-free pasta. Now I wanted the lasagna one, they are out. It wasn't available for pickup or delivery. And so um, I'll have to find a few more gluten-free type of pastas. Um, I have regular pasta and I have gluten-free. And so the, the penne wasn't available, was not available for pickup. So this was actually shipped to my house. It took a couple days. I don't like it to be shipped. I feel like it's a waste of gas and time for people when it's just like two little things like this. But I really wanted to get a gluten-free. Usually when I put it into the cart, uh, I mean, it says pickup, delivery, shipping, stuff like that. But sometimes you choose a pickup and then you put in the cart and then it actually says, oh no, this is not available for pickup. That's a few times that that has happened. And I usually remove it from my cart because I just, I just don't want that shipping for two boxes. Okay. So anyway, that's just me. But if you really need it, go ahead and ship it. And then I have also gluten-free spaghetti. And this is the brand, the only brand that, or they had another brand, but this was the cheaper one, the Barilla. Um, or Barilla, I don't know, Barilla. Okay. And this, these these were all $2.52 each. Same with the lasagna, it was also $2.52. And I got two of them, and these are going into, um, actually my, let me look at the, yeah, there's the date. Best is if used by May of 2024. So these are gonna go actually into my pantry, my regular pantry, because I need some gluten-free items. And then I'm gonna try these. If I like them, then I'm gonna add to my long-term pantry. I have other Walmart stock up hauls that I've done. And so you can check those out. I'll put the I cards above. But the, the main thing, since now I've been um, actually adding to my long-term pantry for the last two years, I um, have noticed the things that we actually use and that the ones that we're not using the things that have been hard to rotate into our pantry, um, and I'm not buying those anymore, or I'm buying less of them. Like they were good, but we just weren't eating them. And so you have like two, three years expiration, five years. So it's, you have time to figure that out without wasting the food. You obviously still have to use the food, but now you can um, um, hone in, you know, tighten up what you're actually using and not using. So one of the things that we definitely use, which I absolutely love, is Zatarans. And they have all kinds of flavors. They used to be a dollar each just a few years ago, because I used to buy them like 10 for $10, right? When they went on sale in my grocery store. So I think I'm gonna look out if they're, they, they just haven't been on sale for the longest time. Okay. Um, so these are the jambalaya is a dollar sixty. Like, look at that. That's 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 a lot. That's like sixty cents more, almost double. Not, I wouldn't say double, but you know, it's up there. And then the Spanish rice is a dollar thirty-eight. And so what I do with this jambalaya, I mean, you could just see from the picture, I get sausage, I cut it up, and I add it to the rice, and it's a whole meal. Okay. Or you could eat it, eat it, eat it as a side, eat it as rice. Um, the other thing I also do with the Spanish rice is I can add, I add beans. And so I've tried their red beans and rice. I didn't really like it. So I just get the Spanish rice and I add my own beans, which is like, you could put the dark red kidney beans or the black beans. Let's look at this jambalaya, $1.60, Best by May 24, yes, that's good. Let's pick this one here, May of 24. Okay, non-fat dry milk. This has never been cheap for me. I mean, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below where you can get instant non-fat dry milk or instant dry milk that is at a good price. What you think is a good price without having to buy like the huge big buckets of them. Okay, uh, so that's my only thing is I'm not ready to buy big buckets of these. Okay, May of 24. Um, but maybe if I have to, to actually save half the price, I don't know. Uh, these are $8.43 each. Um, so I'm very slowly adding to the dry milk stock. All right, sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. 
something my mom raised us on. You toast bread, white bread, which we never have white bread in the house, but anyway, we toast white bread, and then when it's warm, right out of the toaster, you pour this on. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Let me know in the comments if you have a similar recipe or the exact same recipe, what do you do? Um, so it's not just for baking. I mean, you could eat it literally straight out of the can. All right, let's pick this one. Let's see, expiration date, um, June of 24, okay. And this is $1.94, and I know that has been cheaper. My suggestion, if, if you have an Asian store, which I should probably do a, a stock up haul from the Asian store, but if you have an Asian store, check out this sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, and non-fat dry milk. I found them to be less expensive than your grocery store or even Walmart. So check that out. Evaporated milk, my friend. Okay, $1.32, Best Buy, does that say nine? Best Buy September of 23. Okay, so not 24. All right, so evaporated milk, you can use that in all kinds of recipes. And last but not least, my oat milk. So I love oat milk. I only recently discovered it a couple months ago because it was all foo-foo for me when it was like out of stock and all that when it first came out. Anyway, this is $2.88. So I'm not saying that this is the best price. Um, November of 22, so this is going into my pantry. And this is March of 23. So there, this might go into my um, extended pantry. Uh, I mean, these will go into my extended pantry. And that's like three to six months where I take my extended pantry, whatever is there, I put it into my pantry. So that's like my, my store, you know? And I, I should do a whole video about how I do my whole system with my pantries. Um, but anyway, uh, I usually get it at Costco, the Kir is it the Kirkland brand? And so I'm good to go with that, but it was running low. I didn't want to run to Costco, like I said, it's really hot. And so I just thought, let me just add a few more um, and do a pickup. enjoyed this Walmart stock up haul let me know in the comments below which one you might be adding to your prepper pantry let me know which ones you're definitely not restocking and why and I will see you in the next one bye